بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاترین سواتی از ہیئر اینڈ ویلکم ٹو آل ٹو بایو سائنس ود شاترین سواتی ٹو ڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ود اے لیکچر وچ از اباؤٹ دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ فارٹر سنتھیٹک پگمنٹ دیٹ از کلورو فل ایز آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا کلورو پلاس اینڈ میکنیزم فوٹو سنتھسز سو دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹو نو دا اسٹرکچر اینڈ chemical composition, nature of the chlorophyll. So in this lecture, I will deliver uh, and I will uh, tell you in detail about the chlorophyll. So before starting my lecture, I have a very humble request to all of you to subscribe my channel, promote my channel, like my videos, share my videos. If you are sharing my videos, you are sharing the knowledge. So keep watching, keep sharing knowledge with other and do promote the educational content and knowledge. Okay, now I'm starting my lecture and in this lecture I will give you the introduction, discovery, structure and the types of the chlorophyll. As we know that the chlorophyll is a green pigment and that green pigment is present in the plants, algae and as well as in cyanobacteria and the most important uh, other like you can say that the Uh, other photosynthetic bacteria which is known as the bacterial chlorophyll so in case of the cyanobacteria this green pigment is present in the mesosomes and in case of the algae and plants this chlorophyll this green pigment is present in the specialized structure which i have discussed in detail in my previous lecture so must watch my lecture about the chloroplast so this in uh, in case of the algae and plants this is present in the chloroplast in the special uh, region of the chloroplast which are known as the granum or thylakoid membrane okay so this uh, chlorophyll word is a greek word which is uh, known uh, which is divided into two like uh, derived from the uh chlorus means the green pale green color and the phyllus mean the leaf chlorophyll is very important for photosynthesis allowing plants to absorb energy from light chlorophyll absorbs light most strongly in the blue portion of the electromagnetic spectrum as well as the red portion and very important the chlorophyll um, uh, reflect the green color so that's why uh, it looks green and absorb the red and blue portion of the sunlight is it clear so the absorption spectrum is uh, blue and the green uh, sorry red and the ref uh, it reflect the green color that's why it look green to us okay now this is very important to know uh, who discovered first time uh, the chlorophyll and and in which plant it was first time isolated i am telling you here i have not men mentioned in the uh, lecture on the slide uh, the chlorophyll was first uh, isolated in the mint plant okay and uh, uh, this isolation was done by the binimi uh, binimi uh, kevin kevin to and the p joseph palcher in 1817 very difficult word to pronounce uh, the presence of the magnesium in the chlorophyll uh, chlorophyll was discovered in 1906 must keep it in your mind first isolated by in 1870 by binimi and the peer and uh, magnesium ion uh, was discovered uh, in 1906 the general structure of chlorophyll a was discovered by the richard and then later on by the hans in 1905 and then 1940 later on robert burn published a total synthesis biosynthesis of the um, chlorophyll molecule and i will discuss in detail about the biosynthesis of the chlorophyll molecule in my next lecture so must watch my lectures and also uh, go through my lecture about the chlorophyll and the mechanism of photosynthesis so all the points will be clear upon you people okay on the right side you can see here the peer joseph and on the left side uh, uh, binimi which uh, first time both uh, uh, first time isolated the uh, chlorophyll from the mint plant okay now the structure 
now i'm going to discuss about the structure that is very important to know what is the structure of the uh, chlorophyll and the chemical composition too so the basic structure of the chlorophyll molecule is a porphyrin ring basic structure is the porphyrin ring and the long hydrocarbon chain i will discuss both step by step so the porphyrin ring coordinated into a central atom and the central atom is magnesium in this uh, porphyrin ring is very similar in structure to the heme group found in the hemoglobin but the difference is that in case of the heme the central atom is iron but in case of the chlorophyll the central atom is magnesium there are actually two main types of the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b but there are c d e and f which are present in the algae and uh, cl uh, bacteria chlor chlorophyll which is found in the bacteria so uh, i just focus on the chlorophyll a and b in this lecture the different uh, side groups are present in the chlorophyll and these side groups Uh, help in the absorption spectrum to slightly different wavelengths so that the light that is not significantly absorbed by the chlorophyll a uh, will uh, instead be uh, captured by the chlorophyll v which absorbs strongly at that wavelength is it clear this is because of the presence of the different side groups in both types of the chlorophyll okay now i will show you how this is the overall structure of the chlorophyll uh you can see here this is the porphyrin ring which i am going to discuss here and this is the hydrocarbon chain this porphyrin group this porphyrin head is hydrophilic in nature this is must keep it in your mind this is hydrophilic in nature and this head lie in the thylakoid membrane and this is the tail which is the hydrocarbon and this is hydrophobic must keep it in your mind so now first of all the porphyrin ring what is porphyrin the porphyrin there, there is another word uh, which is commonly used for that is the chlorine chlorine is derived from the word chlor chlorophyll green so the porphyrin ring chlorophyll consists of a porphyrin ring you can see here this is the porphyrin ring i'm showing you and this porphyrin ring is made up of the four pyrrole rings how many pyrrole rings four here i mentioned four this is not four this is four not four 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 pyrrole rings one two three and four and these four pyrrole rings are attached to the central magnesium ion and make the structure which is known as porphyrin ring is it clear to you so one porphyrin ring consists of how many pyrrole rings four pyrrole ring and these four pyrrole rings are attached with the central magnesium atom okay now what is pyrrole pyrrole is a heterocyclic aromatic organic compound a five membered ring with the formula you can see here this is just one pyrrole ring this is second this is third this is fourth four pyrrole ring are present are found in the uh, one porphyrin so one pyrrole ring consists of four carbon four hydrogen one nitrogen and this one nitrogen is attached to the central magnesium ion you can see here the four pyrrole rings attached to the magnesium ion by the this nitrogen of the pyrrole ring it is a color uh, now pyrrole what is pyrrole it is a colorless volatile liquid that darkens radially upon exposure to air this is actually giving the color darken color so substituted derivatives are also called the pyrroles for example n methyl pyrrol i will show you the difference between the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b here you can see this is the chlorophyll a this is the chlorophyll b d f and many more so here i am just focusing on the chlorophyll a and b you can see here there are different alkyl group r1 r2 r3 r4 so you can see here the chlorophyll a and b are different from each other on this r3 group just on this r3 on r3 in chlorophyll a methyl group is present but in case of the chlorophyll b this carbonyl 
aldehyde group is present must keep it in your mind if you have to solve the uh, mcqs in your any test uh, the in case of chlorophyll a which group is present and r3 that is the methyl group is present but in chlorophyll b at this r3 carbonyl r aldehyde group is present is it clear to you this is the main difference between the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b are different at the r3 group this alkyl group sometime in case of the uh, chlorophyll a this is methyl and in case of the chlorophyll b this is aldehyde is it clear to you okay now uh, you can also notice uh, note down the chlorophyll d and chlorophyll f2 okay now what is the hydrocarbon tail this is the porphyrene ring this porphyrene ring is made up of now you can see here this is the chlorophyll a how how can you identify this because uh, r at the r3 group there is a methyl group is present alkyl group third number alkyl group is methyl so this is uh, the uh, structure of the chlorophyll a if there is a aldehyde group is present you can easily identify you can say that this is the what uh, this is the uh, chlorophyll b so this is chlorophyll a because of the presence of methyl group at the uh, r3 r alkyl group 3 so this is the hydrocarbon chain which i have told you that this is what hydrophobic chlorophyll a has a long hydrophobic tail which anchor the molecule to other hydrophobic proteins in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast so this hold down the porphyrin ring in the thylakoid membrane and i have discussed in detail about the thylakoid so must watch my lecture about the chloroplast okay so this hydrophobic tail with other hydrophobic proteins because the uh, membrane the thylakoid membrane is the lipid bilayer membrane with many proteins so the with these uh, this hydrophobic tail with other hydrophobic proteins anchor or hold down the this porphyrin ring in the thylakoid membrane is it clear to you is he now now i'm going to discuss the difference between the chlorophyll a and b as i have shown you that uh, in case of the chlorophyll a methyl group is present at the r3 group and in case of the chlorophyll b aldehyde group is present at the r3 group and you can also down um, d and f so the chemical formula now you can see here the chemical formula difference in chlorophyll a 55 carbon hydrogen 72 magnesium 1 nitrogen 4 oxygen 5 present but in case of the chlorophyll b you can see the clear difference S carbon 55 as uh, in case of chlorophyll a hydrogen 70 but in chlorophyll a you can see 72 one magnesium common in both four nitrogen common and the other uh, the third difference is the number of oxygen in case of the chlorophyll a only five oxygen are present in case of the uh, chlorophyll b six oxygen are present is it clear so this is the chemical formula you can also note down the difference between the chlorophyll a and b on depending on the uh, presence or absence uh, presence of the uh, alkyl group uh, number three on the porphyrin ring in case of chlorophyll a this is methyl in case of chlorophyll b this is aldehyde is it clear okay thank you very much i hope so the lecture will be clear upon you but if you have any question write in the comment box i will be back inshallah with the biosynthesis of the chlorophyll in my next lecture till then allah hafiz